The bread shed exists to feed the hungry, spiritually and physically, and acts as an extension of the love of Jesus Christ. It's not about church's denomination, it's about the body of Christ coming together and being there for the community. I saw a lady that once was receiving the food and then within, I don't know, about three months later, I looked at her and she had a bread shed uh, shirt on and she became one of the servers. And I'm thinking that's the grace of God it takes us to one side of the table to the next and it's us. It's we're working this, this thing together. It's an awesome thing. There's no difference. There's no pride factor. It's us and them. It's we. We're together. The body of Christ doing what it's called to do, feeding the hungry and he gets all the glory. Amen. Because we wanted to do more than just have them wait for some food and that be all that would happen. We, what we, from the very beginning, we wanted to feed them some breakfast, but then we expanded into the, into the food distribution. But finally, this, uh, this new method of get, getting them out of line, we can get them, uh, their, hold their place in line while giving them a number, and we just uh, sit down together in a place uh, in our church sanctuary, and we just are able to talk to people, give them some of the gospel, give them uh, uh, some of our life stories. We tell testimonies about what's, uh, uh, what God's done in our own life. We just do that in little five-minute sections. A lot of music, we do a lot of music and worship. And so it turns into, uh, a church service, if you will, and, uh, and a lot of decisions are made during that time. It's been a great thing when we uh, expanded the bread shed in that way. Now we're able to feed them uh, for the morning, and then we're able to feed them for the week with a box of food, but we also try to feed them for eternity. distribution on the second week of the month here in Poplar Bluff and on the fourth week of the month in Elsinore. And there are always at least maybe a handful of people that show up week after week. No money given to them, but they come because they love people. They love the Lord and they can love on them through handing out pancakes or making sausage in the microwave. It's like they, this is the hands and feet of Jesus. Shed means more than giving out food because we get fed too. There are people that come through that line and they have such desperation. Just they're they're needing this food. And they have tears, some of them just have tears in their eyes, and they're just crying and thanking you. They can't thank you enough. And you just see this look of hope in their eyes. And that's what bread shed's about. But there's more than just there's more than just that line that giving food, but there's people They give them a warm breakfast that morning. They just give them a smile and give them a hug. You learn to get connections with these people. Some people come every month and you get to have this friendship with them. You learn their name, they learn your name, they look for you, you look for them. And it's just this connection. It's more than just a one month food distribution. It is a connection with people that are need, in need of that hope and that love. And that's what it is. It's the extension of the love of Jesus Christ. That is the friendship.